Hi, this is Paul Chima, sales representative with Remax Professional in Toronto, Canada. I'm serving homeowners and home buyers since 2007 in the Greater Toronto area. So here is your mid-October housing activity report for the cities of Mississauga, Brampton, Caledon, Etobicoke, and Vaughan. Brampton recorded 624 new home listings in the first 14 days of October, and the sales to new listing ratio has gone up to 48 percent from that of September 2017, which was reported as 39.7 percent for all housing types. Interestingly, the SNLR is 45 percent for details, nearly 100 percent for length, 46 percent for semis, and 41 percent for attached rows townhouses. Kano apartment showed maximum SNLR of 71%. Average prices of homes in Brampton are DTS $776,372, which was 17% uh, up from last month. Semi details $608,795, up by 15%. Attached row townhouses $585,531 up by nearly 1.3 percent. Kano Apartments $355,068 up by 10 percent. Mississauga recorded 494 new home listings in the first 14 days of October with a sales to new listing ratio of 62 percent compared to 39.4 percent in September. The average price of houses in Mississauga are beat as $1,022,606, nearly constant as last month. Same details, $689,131, again constant as last month. Attached rows, townhouses, $688,350. It showed less than 1% drop. Condo apartments were $397,967, which were up by 1%. In Caledon, the first 14 days saw 80 new listings with SNLR of 46%. The SNLR for September was 28.8%. The average prices home in Caledon details are $920,545, nearly unchanged from the last month. Semi details recorded $655,000, which was up by 1.5%. Attached rows townhouses they showed a price of $588,000, they fell down by 2.3%, and in one, the number of listings in the first 14 days of October, as reported, was 291, and the sales to new listing ratios has gone up, reaching 39% from 27.2% in September. This is a nearly 12% increase from September's sales to new listing ratio. Good. The average prices of homes in one are detailed $1,240,416, which was lower by 10% from the last month. semi detailed $808,455, fell by 0.89%. Attached row townhouses, $741,993, fell by 8.4%. Condo apartments in one averaged at $553,074, it was below uh, last month by 7.68%. Atobico showed a SNLR of 71% from average SNLR of all housing typing for W6 to W10, with 251 new listings in the first 14 days of October. Atobico showed a sales to new listing ratio of 71% from average sales to new listing ratios of 39.82%, together from W6 to W10, with 251 new listings in the first 14 days of October. The average prices of homes are detached at $1,038,847, semi-detached houses at $734,438, attached rows townhouses they averaged at $660,375 and Kano Apartments, they were recorded at an average price of $419,299. This report is prepared from the data taken 
from the Toronto Real Estate Board's multiple listing service as at 14th October 2017. So this information is presented just for information and research purposes and there are no representations and warranties as to accuracy of this report even though a lot of attention is given to make sure the data is relevant and very precise. Please exercise due caution when making a decision based on this report. How did you like this report? I will really appreciate your comments. To stay updated for any new videos about market activity, please subscribe to my channel on Vimeo or YouTube. I'm so thankful to you for being with me for this little update on housing activity. This is Paul Chima. You can contact me by text or call at 647-333-2273, helping you make the right decision. 24-7-365. Thank you.